Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be setting up the player and in the last video we imported everything from Blender into Unity. This should be quite short so let's get started. Last time we imported these FPS arms and a few animations, we made some materials and now we just have to make the player object. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and right click in the hierarchy and create a empty object. If you press F2 while selected, you can rename it. I'm gonna rename it to player. You can see that the position is not 0, 0, 0, so we wanna change that, just go 0, 0, 0. So it's uh, centered here. And uh, we're gonna probably move it a bit up like this, j just so we can see it once we put on some mesh. Now, we're going to take the FPS arms that we got last episode and just drag them onto, onto this empty object. And now they're parented, but you can see if we move this, that doesn't really look good. We want to move these arms so they're in a proper position. Now you can select the FPS arms and go to these options and click reset. Now they're going to get set at the exact position of the player. Now we just need to move them a bit up, something like 1.5. We also need to add some colliders to the player. So go to the player, add component. We'll need a capsule collider. You can see the collider in the scene view. Now we just want to set its height to 2.5 and we want to make it center on the Y axis 1.5 or 1.25 actually. You can see now that it looks much better. We also need a rigid body and you have to check is kinematic or else some scripts are not going to work properly. And we also need a character controller which we also need to rescale. So the height needs to be 2.5 and the center 1.25. And now everything is properly set up. You can make this higher because arms are a bit big. You could also scale down the arms but this works. Now for the arms we're going to need the animator so we can add some animations later on. So right click in the project view, create a animator controller. I'm going to call this player arms animator. Now you want to select the FPS arms and drag the animator controller to the controller variable here. That is pretty much all we got to do to set up the player. In the next episode we're going to be moving the player. So hopefully you enjoyed this, if you did be sure to leave a like, comment down below, you can always go support me on Patreon, there's links to that in the description, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.